Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today we're gonna go over the new subclip feature in DaVinci Resolve. This new version of subclip allows you to take an in point and an out point, create a region, and very similar to a compound clip, you can create a sub timeline by putting everything in that region into what's called a subclip. If you update it to DaVinci Resolve 20.1, the keyboard shortcut is Alt B. Now for the shortcut, let's go really quick into the DaVinci keyboard customization on the top left corner. I'm on PC, so Alt B is the subclip. If you already have your own custom keyboard shortcuts and Alt B is already taken, this shortcut won't automatically be added. You'll have to go and add that yourself manually into any other key or remove what you currently have for Alt B. The easiest way to do that is going to search on the middle right, put create subclip. Go under where it says mark and then choose your keyboard shortcut. Then you can go ahead and save. And now in order to create that subclip, again, as I mentioned, you have to create an in point and an out point. Anything in that region, all tracks, when you use that shortcut, will be put into a subclip. Now I have an in point and an out point already selected and I just pressed Alt B. And though it might not look like anything changed, because when you use a compound clip, it all merges into one clip. In the case of a subclip, your subclip will be added into your media pool as you can see right here. Now, first you're looking at the original timeline one that we have, and after seeing a second timeline one, you would think, did it just duplicate what I already had? But no, if you go over the name and you click on it, you can rename it, but you'll also see the name for this subclip, and it'll be the same name as your original timeline. For me, it's timeline one, and then it'll say subclip. Now, this might be a little confusing right now, especially if you're used to compound clips, but with the subclip, every track, video and audio, in the in and out point region gets put into that subclip. Whereas compound clips, only the clips you select and you choose to be in a new compound clip get grouped together. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's go ahead and drag this subclip and put that into the timeline. Now you'll see it's similar to a compound clip where this entire region and all the tracks are now in one clip, including all the color grading I did, overlays, etc. Now I grouped everything in the region, put it into the subclip without actually changing anything that's already on the timeline. As opposed to a compound clip, all of this would get merged into one clip. So let me just show you a compound clip real quick. Let's go ahead and select a few tracks here. I'm gonna do my keyboard shortcut for a compound clip, press create, and you can see that it created this compound clip here in the timeline. Let's go ahead and undo that. Let's get rid of this region. So the subclip grouped everything together like a compound clip, however, doesn't affect anything that's already on the timeline. And if you wanted to delete everything that was in that area, you could just put this subclip in its place and it has literally everything that was originally there. Now, similar to a compound clip where you can open it in a new timeline, the subclip can also be opened so you can see all the individual tracks and files that are a part of the subclip. Except, different than the compound clip, this already has a timeline. As opposed to with compound clips, you open in a new timeline. Because this is already its own timeline, you can actually go up here on the top and just switch over to that timeline instantly. And it opened up everything that was there from the moment we chose to group this together into a timeline. And with this, not only did it put the clips together, but all the tracks in this timeline, which is the subclip, also has all the effects on it. So if we switch switch over from subclip to timeline one, you'll see all the different audio tracks here with their effects. And if we switch back to the subclip timeline, everything is here. Now, one very important thing to know is that when you already have audio effects on certain tracks and you create a subclip, as you saw, all those effects get put into that subclip timeline as well. So if you end up using that subclip in the main timeline that already has audio processing or audio effects, you're gonna essentially stack those effects, whether it's a compressor, limiter, DS, or whatever it is. So because of that, I highly recommend if you're gonna use subclips, don't do any audio processing on your timeline until after you've already finished your project or maybe disable the audio effects that are in the subclip so they don't get stacked up with effects on effects. Now, because this allows you to switch back and forth between timelines, you can also add stack timelines here. So on the left above the time code, you can select here, display stack timelines. And now you can add any subclips here so you can easily go back and forth. As well as if you go here to the right, click this little symbol with a timeline and a plus sign. Here you can see two different timelines at the exact same time. So on the top, if we get rid of timeline subclip and only have timeline one, now at the bottom, we can choose an unused timeline like the subclip timeline. So you could easily edit two timelines pretty much at the same time. And whenever you click into the alternating timeline, the other timeline will turn gray, showing you that that one is not displayed in the preview window. Only the one with the red playhead is the timeline that's actively displayed. But all you have to do is click on the other timeline and then it switches over to that one. With this, you can easily edit the subclip timeline 
make changes here so that it reflects on your main timeline that has the subclip. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Now, another very important thing to know about the subclip is that when you make this subclip and you delete anything from the region that was originally on the timeline where that subclip was made from, for example, let's go ahead and delete some clips here from this area, that will not reflect on the subclip. So even though I deleted stuff here, none of that got taken out of the subclip, which is why earlier when I showed you that we deleted everything here and then put in the subclip there, all the files of the subclip were still intact. So on a compound clip, whatever you select to group together is put into one clip. And then if you open that compound clip in another timeline, so you can edit that compound clip, anything you delete there will reflect on the main timeline. However, with the subclip, whatever you originally put into the subclip stays intact, even if you remove things from the original timeline. But if we open up the subclip timeline, let's go ahead and switch over to the subclip timeline. And let's just say we delete it all of the video and then go back to the main timeline. Whatever you edit in the subclip will then be reflected into the subclip on the main original timeline. Let's go ahead and undo all that. So subclips and compound clips are actually pretty similar, but subclips are made for condensing your project and ideally more for grouping sections into their own original timelines, whereas compound clips are actually a little bit better for grouping certain edited sections that have multiple clips or effects. So a simple example would be, I would use subclips more for longer productions that have various chapters or various scenes and group those individual scenes into their own subclips and compound clips more for when I have multiple clips and tracks and I'm trying to condense a group of clips as opposed to an entire scene. But ultimately you could use both really however you'd like. So there you guys have it. That's how the new subclip works in DaVinci Resolve 20.1. Now on this channel, I do have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials. So make sure to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.